trying to focus on the education up here first, man. Oh, I believe no, we, no. we focus on education. That will open a lot of doors for everything else, man. We worry about that first, as far as education, the tutor programs, get these kids more focused on the school, get them interested in school, get the sports going, but they're interested in the sports, right? And through sports, we know that you have to have an education to play sports. So if they like sports, they love playing sports, they love competing, and they'll do better in, in, in the classroom. And they do better in the classroom, and they lead them to in life down the road. Or further than not being playing football and not being in school. But I believe education and football is going hand in hand. That stuff is old news. As you can see, it's a nice neighborhood. It's nice and peaceful. Nothing really going on. Look around here. You see any, any game bangers out? We at the park. What park you go to where they say that stuff is going on where you don't see nobody? What do you need a park in America? It ain't going to be peaceful like this. So it ain't going on like that up here, man. Just gotta bring it back, man. Ain't gonna, you know, just work on it. <laughs> More people like this that work that grew up here, learned everything they learned here, come on back. You don't have to live here. You don't have to live in the community to help your community. It's the pride. Right. Right? It's just your pride. It's I get, your pride. I was here. I grew up here. Everything I learned was right here. Mm -hmm. If I didn't play right here, I would have never played. You know it's what I'm saying? So it's the same pride that other individuals have for the areas that they grew, they grew up, up from. You see that in there, they admire it, right? But it's y'all turn to come back and show that same pride, man. You understand? In your, in your community, where you grew up with, your ties to whatever, whatever your experience was, everybody's experience wasn't the same. It was, it was you know what I'm saying? And, and, and I say community, the community don't mean gang members. Community don't mean nothing, but the community means just grow up in this community. Whether you had a positive, negative experience or whatever, this is your community. You know, whether people knew you or they didn't know you, it's still your community. You understand what I'm saying? And this is the time you come back. We welcome everybody back, man. And I believe that's the only way we're going to come back as a community. I'm looking for it on the outside for help. Outside you understand what I'm saying? I don't want, I mean, like, I'm stubborn. I ain't, ain't going to speak for everybody. But me personally, I don't, I don't, like, I be like, I try to push, push outsiders away. You know what I'm saying? But I know that's bad because we need the help. No, you got to start with them first. You always got to start with them first. But it's the same the infrastructure with them. It's the you same ain't conversation you have my three sons. I mean, they all in college. He just graduated. But like they wouldn't be where they was or where they are right now if I wouldn't have learned half the majority of the stuff I learned up here. You know what I'm saying? I, I started here playing, you know, mighty mice, little league, basketball in the gym, you know what I'm saying? I lived up here. I grew up in Meadowbrook Apartments. I was on the Come Dean's on, list this, serious, this, this past semester, you know what I'm saying? First team all the league. You know what I'm saying? Chris was at Ohio State. You know Killing I mean? my so, Michigan players. Homie. So now they, you know, and, and, and that's why they up here. Like, they, they didn't grow up in Skyline, but they know how much it means to me. You know what I mean? So they're willing to come up here and help in any way they can. Appreciate it. I'm Josh Olave. I came from, I went to East Lake High School for the first three years. Then I went to Mission Hills, my last one. I attended Azusa Pacific University right after that. And I'm about to be a junior at, the, at that college. Uh, Isaiah Olave, uh, the oldest of the three. I went to, uh, went to East Lake High School, graduated from East Lake High School in 2014. Uh, went to, signed a scholarship to go to UC Davis, played uh, five years there. Ended up registered in my second year, broke my ankle. Uh, graduated in December 2018, and then I uh, just got, uh, I'm getting a chance to go to Buccaneers, Tampa Bay Buccaneers rookie mini camp next month. Start Wednesday. Right, baby. Uh, Chris Olave, uh, youngest of them all. East Lake High School my first two years, and then I transferred uh, along with Josh to Mission Hills High School, which I sat out my junior year. And then I played my senior year, which I blew up. Uh, I signed with Ohio State, and uh, I'm going into year two at Ohio State. San Diego's all-time leading receiver, re uh, receiving yards. Kill him. Kill him. All my life, been grinding all my life. Sacrifice, hustle, pay the price. Want a slice? Got to roll the dice, that's why All my life, I've been grinding all my life Look, all my life, been grinding all my life Sacrifice, hustle, pay the price Want a slice? Got to roll the dice, that's why All my life, I've been grinding all my life Look. I would say, man, if you got the time I know everybody, you know, has their personal lives If you got any kind of time, it don't matter how much time 
you got 10 minutes a month, 15 minutes a month, it doesn't matter. Any kind of time is better than no time. If you know any kind of like sponsors and stuff, you know the kids, you know some kids can't afford it. If you know any kind of sponsors and stuff, it ain't always got to come out your own pocket, but if you got any kind of hookups, you know, push them this way if you can. Show them the positive by the barbecues, by the workouts at the park, by the police station, Tuesdays and Thursdays. So a lot of people drive by, a lot of people can see. Like the other day, people just pulling up that you ain't seen in a long time. They just pulling up like, hey man, I see y'all out there. Nice. Or they texting you, or they calling you. Yeah. Like, I see y'all out there, what y'all got going on. So, you know, you just gotta, they gotta see it. The price, wanna slice. Got to roll the dice, that's why. All my life, I be grinding all my life, yeah. All my life, grinding all my life. Doing positive things in the community. Uh, Barry, just touch on you know what you got going on here in the basketball gym and uh, uh, things of that nature. Well, I work with uh, with high school kids up to college. Some guys are trying to play pro. A lot of the neighborhood kids that come to this gym, and we do skill development, which includes ball handling, shooting, um, dribbling skills. We talk about uh, sharing the ball. We talk about the game and. I don't know, it's just, it's, it just feels good to be around these guys and give back because someone pulled me to the side and helped teach me the game, so I'm trying to give back and do it to some, some of these kids here. Check, check, check. It was five chains on my neck. There was no smut on my rep last time that I checked. I was selling zones in the set. Make a quarter mil, no sweat last time that I checked. We have to expand on, on, on our businesses. You understand what I'm saying? Because we got a lot of, uh, 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 of entrepreneurs that sell t-shirts. We got a lot of entrepreneurs yeah, that, that, that make that food. Right. We got a lot of entrepreneurs that yeah. make music. You understand what I'm saying? But you can't go, there's no like what we need, a black beauty supply. Right over here. You that's understand what I'm saying? We that's the Koreans, right? But we need a black beauty supply. Black nail shop. Black nail shop. Like, should be there, but like Pops had triple crown back exactly. in the day. Exactly. That's the like, problem. I wanna start something like that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like help these kids that's get jobs. Yeah, yeah. saves a lot of lives. lives. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like build something like that in the community, you know what I'm saying? We used to go to we should get on the truck, go sell candy all over the place. You know what I mean? Well, gotta, get only back, that, gotta get back. Not only that, though, to the foundation. What, 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 what triple crown and stuff like that helped me with? Because I used to be with your dad real tough. Like he used to come get me in his car, and we used to go to these, these city council meetings and go talk to uh, mayors and stuff like that. Though, right? He helped me with with my confidence to talk to these politicians and these people. A lot of positive things that go on around here, and I believe in the communities like this is where you find your strongest people because of the things that they, the way they have to grow up, the things they have to endure to go through. Overall, sense, right? Crime is the crime wherever it's at. You know, and La Jolla is the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Black people not killing black people in La Jolla because there's no hardly no black people in La Jolla, but white people are killing white people in La Jolla. You understand what I'm saying? But they don't say white on white crime. They don't, it's not even it's not even a word. White on white violence. You understand what I'm saying? The things like that, right? And then in this community, a guy might get killed, but it might not necessarily be gang related. You understand what I'm saying? So you can't attribute every crime, everything to gang related. So yeah. you know what I'm saying? But only, since only, it was in Skyline, they would try yeah, to yeah, yeah. make it and, that and, narrative. And the only way that you're gonna know difference is if you're part of that community. And me being part of this community, I can honestly say that there's not a there's tremendously not a lot of gang violence that goes on, you know what I'm saying? It may be uh, stats, crime stats, robberies, or whatever, but those don't mean them is done by gang members, right? And then, and then be honest, to be honest, the uh, the makeup of this community is tremendously different from, from, from what the people think of. Man. When we grew up, it was tremendously, it was a lot of blacks. You understand what I'm saying over here? A lot of blacks, and then the Asians came in, and now you have a lot of Hispanics. You understand what I'm saying? So, so the Hispanics was always here, but now it's a lot more of them. You know, and, and I say that because, you know, you, you may live next door growing up to, to an Hispanic, but now you might, your next door neighbor, the guy across the street or whatever, right? So does that contribute to, um, you know what I'm saying, to the stats of, uh, of what they're trying to put on this skyline football? No, nah, it doesn't, man. Or, or, or this community in general, nah. I mean, like, any incident that ever happened up here is happening in any other community in, in San Diego point blank period. It just becomes easier and, 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 and easier for people to visualize negativity when you associate the word skyline with it because it gives them something to look at, a vision. It gives, it gives them a, a, something to look at, a, a picture, and then they put it in their head and it just piles on and piles on. But nah, the, the crime, to answer your question, flat out, nah, it's, it's, a, it's a drop in crime. I, I don't even know the stats. I don't know the stats, but just living here, I, I, I know it's a drop in crime. And then just to piggyback on that, like you said, um, it ain't no, ain't, you ain't heard you got, about it. You ain't heard about a shooting or nothing like that up here. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's crime in every community. You know what I'm saying? I, when when my son played at East Lake, 
we trained at the Gonzalez Academy. I remember one day, you know, they left their phones in the car. We went in there, worked out, came out, all their phones was gone. Wow. So crime goes on everywhere. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just that. And, and, and I think that's the problem right now is, is we all keep harping on the negativity and we're giving it too much shine. Like, we need to even stop talking about stop that type of stuff and just start yeah. focusing on the positive stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, I grew up here. You know what I'm saying? Back in the day, you could, if, you, if you scan the park right now, you don't see nobody. It's peaceful. Back in the day, you would have seen at least 20, 30 of us up here hanging out, shooting dice, yeah. drinking. Yeah. Well, 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 it's a whole different ball game up here. You know what I'm saying? We're trying, to, we're trying to do the same thing here that everybody else is doing. You know, get these kids out to college. You know what I'm saying? And, and make them successful. You know, so, um, you play I played at Lincoln High School with Achilles Smith. Uh, <laughs> won a CIF championship. Um, after that, I went to San Diego State, played four years in San Diego State. Um, got the opportunity to play overseas. I got to play in the Philippines, Canada, uh, Mexico, and Germany. So, um, I was blessed with the opportunity to see the world and to go see other places because of basketball. And it's made me, it's helped to make me who I am today. And so, now I just give back. Um, as far as coaching experience, I coach high school girls in the Boy Country Day. I coached uh, at the college level at the University of Hawaii. Um, I coached last year at St. Augustine with the boys varsity basketball team. So I love the game. I'm trying to stay close to it. And coming to Skyline Rec give me an gives me an opportunity to give back to the kids that this rec belongs to, basically. And see, this is another positive thing that's going up here at Skyline as opposed to the stigma of the gang and, and the violence and things of that nature. He's on Instagram, look him up. Got a brand new surface up here at Skyline. Uh, like you said, he's teaching the fundamentals up here. There's a lot more than just game making going on in the community. Believe it. Believe it. All right, brother. All right, man. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. All my life, been grinding all my life. Sacrifice, hustle, pay the price. Wanna slice, got to roll the dice. That's why all my life, I've been grinding all my life. Look, all my life. 